to gather those smiles. And when you get the chance. And gaga that smile. <laughs> oh, there it is, there it is. Gaga, let's see the other side. Gaga right here, over the with Gaga. Gaga, Gaga, you're the best. This is for hairstylist of the year. To be honest, I don't even know where to begin. There are no words that I could say, no speech I could give that would adequately express the deep love, admiration, and respect that I have for Frederick Asperis. Even saying his full name as the rock star he's become, I find myself thinking, no. He's not just in my eyes the greatest hair artist in the world. He's the brother I never had. And he's truly one of my best friends in the whole world. And I call him Freddy. A boy who was born in San Francisco, who then moved to Los Angeles to pursue his dreams. And he has done beyond that in spades. And that is why you are here today. We've worked together for over a decade. And although I have had the honor of working with many legends in this world of hair, for me, Freddie is beyond legendary. He has sewn three wigs together on my head because I wanted it to be more bombastic. He developed quick change techniques, I will not reveal his secrets, <laughs> to pull off or put on sculptures of hair on and off my head for stage performances. He's changed my lace front and the pieces in 35 seconds while I'm panting, <laughs> catching my breath, changing my costumes, screaming to make my cue to hit the stage and sing. 35 seconds. The genius of this man is simply unparalleled. No matter big or how small the occasion, whether it's staying up all night before the Oscars because we're both going, bitch, we didn't come this far to go to the Oscars with a root. <laughs> We gotta bleach it. <laughs> All night. Just Hail Mary. <laughs> or, you know, just for a night on the town or a date. Frederick always operates, no matter big or how small, on the highest level of professionalism, focus, and above all, heart. And my favorite, is watching him cut them with my music playing in the bathroom while he dances with the wig, imagining how it will move with me on stage. <laughs> Singing along. <laughs> He's always inventing without an ego. I've been through many highs and lows consistently throughout my career, and Freddie has been there for it all. To dance and celebrate with me through all our achievements. For example, his many award nominations, including one for the Emmys. And let's just be clear, I wouldn't have won that Golden Globe for the Countess without that hair, okay? <laughs> so you, the hair did have the acting. We've always been there for each other. But what I really want to say on the most personal of levels, I told you this would be long, I'm sorry. 
but I love him so much and I'm so proud. Is that that man sitting right there has picked me off the floor and told me I'm strong and can persevere more times than I could ever count. If I was on the floor, he was right there with me. And then, Freddie, you'd pick me up and work your mastery on me, on my hair, and say, look at yourself. You are strong. You can do this. This is where you belong. And Freddie, I am here today to tell you that this is where you belong. <laughs>